back to the channel. I have tried to start filming a new vlog uh, every day. So yesterday I had a bit of an explanation when I started vlogging and then after that explanation I just stopped because I was so Hi. <laughs> I was so um, worn out from vlogmas and I was hello, sick so hello. I'm gonna drop in the explanation right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in Ethan, I have to clean up. <laughs> the last time you saw me, it was the end of Vlogmas. And um, it was the last day of Vlogmas, which was on Christmas Day. And since then, we have really been um, hanging around the house. I've been back and forth to the church a few times. I sang on, um, I sang Christmas we did a christmas eve service on that thursday you remember and then i went back to the church and sang again on the following um sunday and then this then back to the church for rehearsal on that wednesday sang again on the thursday which was yesterday and then i will sing again on sunday so we've been um doing that the boys have been out of school for their Christmas break. I had a lot of leave that I had to use before the end of the year. So I've been out on leave, um, not like out of necessity because if I did not take the leave, the leave would just disappear. It's like throwing money away. So I had to take the leave. You all know that the boys were sick a couple weeks ago. Xavier still has like you hear him coughing he still has like a lingering like lingering mucus in here um so if that doesn't clear up soon I'm gonna go and see about getting him some antibiotics because he may have like a um like an upper respiratory thing and if you saw that last clip um from vlogmas my last so my last video at the very end I was just like I'm so exhausted like I feel so drained I was also feeling nauseous and like not like I I was like on the verge you know how like you're like right at that line where you're like you know that you're, you're about to like you know it like <laughs> honestly looking back on it I wish I would have just gone ahead and threw up because it probably would have just made me feel better instead whatever that was stayed inside of my body through it through the night then I had to get up and sing the next day um and then when I got back home that um when I got back home on um, from singing on Sunday is when I started to like feel like my body just started to shut down and I like had the chills and it was it was so bad it was so bad Play. I started to just feel so bad and I laid down and went to sleep and when I woke up I felt a lot better in some ways like and that I was rested but like I felt worse in other ways so um I woke up and that's when everything started to come out and I got Spider-Man and that is the day I lost I literally lost like seven pounds in a matter of hours I was like back and forth to the bathroom it was it was bad like it was it was it was bad and after all of that was over i just felt better like i felt better it and it was over it was over with after that i had no symptoms no no nothing so um obviously i you know covid tested and everything came back negative came back ne negative so um, um, it, it must have been just like a stomach bug i am ready to take this christmas tree down i um, I don't think we're going to keep this tree for next year because it was even for this year it's, it looks kind of um, it looks kind of sparse I did it thank you well, maybe from this angle ah. okay guys so we are outside and this is what I need to tackle they have cleared our um, what is this the street <laughs> So I am going to tackle this mound of snow in front of my car and I will check back in. 
my my phone connected to my car so I couldn't finish my thought um, I have it running I'm warming my car up so that the snow is easier to remove I mean it's all pretty much fresh fresh snow so it shouldn't be too difficult um, to give you an idea of how much snow there you can kind of see um, and this is what the um, mirror looks like so there's the bottom of the mirror uh, so yeah that's how much snow we got obviously the wind and everything makes a difference oh this is this is gonna come off really easy it's all like fresh powder so anyway I'm gonna get started on this I think I'm gonna just go ahead and knock all the snow off first and then start shoveling okay so we are back inside and I did not show you my car being cleared off um but just trust that it's cleared completely cleared off uh and nobody was out there when i was clearing my car off and now everybody is out there so my car is cleared off and the space in front of it is completely clear and i was going to shovel the space that's next to me because that space is empty but um people started coming outside so um I'm not going to do that because there's now there's too many people outside and the boys were getting cold. So now we are back inside. Um, everybody has their clothes and stuff off. There are snow pants and stuff. I'm just kidding. <gasps> I'm literally sweating. Also, <gasps> I'm like sweating. Feel my back. Feel my back. Why were you sweating? It was because I was like shoveling and I was already hot. I'm just like sweating. That was a full workout. I am wearing these um, hiking socks that my mom got me for Christmas. Um, I'm wearing a pair of these. Well, you can't. Yeah. So I'm wearing the same these socks and they phenomenal. Dickies brand. Um, she got them for me for hiking because you know we like to do we like to hike. Um, <laughs> you did okay so this just happened this stuff was on top of the refrigerator we went into the freezer and it must have shifted something and now my cake little Mama, cake cover thing Mommy. is shattered and so casually keep diving into concrete so bittersweet huh keep losing sleep while driving in the back seat what's left of me is really boring <laughs> this vlog is like not it um but i'm getting ready to do this workout by caroline Looks like residency did a number on you gear hearing that um and i'm doing this because of first of all look at that that's like <laughs> so hardcore um my curtains fell and i'm not putting them back up uh for reasons <laughs> um so this is a dumbbell workout so i'm just grabbing my dumbbells my room is a mess those are all clean so clearly i'm just starting the year off um you know with all the things you're supposed to start the year off with like a clean house and oh god okay oh so a youtuber a youtuber named kayla cake she does the in my nails look crazy um she does her workouts and she does them every single day and i like i like when um 
fitness YouTubers have like a day one, day two, so I can like follow the plan and it gives me motivation to, to do it every day. So she posted day one today and even though I do consider me shoveling all that snow a cardio a cardio and resistance workout cardio and strength workout um i'm still gonna do this because it is the first monday of the month and i really 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 want to um get back on it i have not worked out in a really long time i let go um a lot of my goals especially after i got sick a few uh earlier i don't know even when but we've been so busy and i've just been feeling so drained anyway i'm gonna do this workout um it's 46 minutes so we'll see i'm looking at the moves in the okay these don't look too too bad um so i'm gonna do this workout hope for the best and then I'm going to eat something of nutritional value. I've had like two bags of chips today, so not starting the month, the year off really strong. I have been really treating my body body badly, so and I'm not showing myself because I look crazy. So yes, let's just, I'm just gonna do this workout. I'm not gonna show myself doing it. I'm just going to like be fully plugged in. Um, I would have put it up on my TV, but I thought I was going to watch the show that I'm watching while I'm doing it, but I don't think I'm going to do that either. Anyway, clearly I'm pressed to have this situation, so I'm going to use it. Hi. We are going to smash through these workouts and have so much fun along the way. Okay, so my Apple Watch is in charge, so we're just not going to start until my Apple Watch is charged because, as you know... If my Apple Watch does not track it, it did not happen. Put a deep conditioner in my hair. I'm gonna put a deep conditioner in my hair. I'm going to put a cap on. I'm going to work out with the cap in my hair. Look at this. This has always been like my main issue. This right here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. I've only ever used this product once before. And my hair is straight, so I'm going from, the back of my hair is sweat out. It's a damp towel dried. Like it's damp, but it's not damp, damp. So as you can see, my curls are intact. My ends are uh, curly. They're not straight at all. And yeah, so that heat protector has been doing a girl good. And then this, I don't even really know what this is supposed to do. I think it's supposed to like, it's called a hair perfector, repairs and strengthens all hair types. And um, I just wanted to try this brand because of all the hype. To be honest, I'm not so tapped into the curly girl community because I don't really wear my hair. Um, when it's curly, I don't really wear it out, which may be something that I change this year. Um, so yeah. But, so like, I feel like I could wear my hair out. When I lose some weight and my face doesn't look so fat. <laughs> if I pin that, I don't know. Ooh, got my eye. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So, I have all this product in my hair. I'm just going to put it in a bun. And then put the cap on. 
All right, so I don't know how long that was. Oh, you know what? I actually wanted to put some of this in my hair also. This oil, I've been liking it. I feel like it's so old, it's so old school. This oil is so, I feel like so old school and it's like, whoa, I'm getting it everywhere. So I'm just gonna put some of this in it, my hair also, just to, I don't know what this is gonna do, I'm into washing my hair anyway, but it's supposed to be like a hot oil treatment or you can use it as a hot oil treatment. So I don't know if I'm messing up something in the Olaplex by mixing these two things together. So I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. Um, if you're wondering what the boys are doing, they are eating their dinner and chilling because today is the last day before um, they go back to school. Just looking outside, all the snow. All right, so hmm, how much battery does it have now? It's 632. So I do want to start like now because I'm, I do want to start going to bed at a decent hour. Okay, my Apple Watch is, is at 16%. So that is enough to do my workout. Girl. <laughs> that pimple really did play me. I did everything right. I didn't even pop her. She really played me, but that's okay. That's okay. We got some vitamin C for her. So my workout is done. That was really, really good. I did not get bored, which is which happens to me all the time. I'm like, oh, okay. And it's crazy because it was pretty much the same movement, like the same different variations of the same movement throughout the entire workout. But I, I did not get bored and it went by really, really fast. And she focuses a lot on like your form and getting the depth of the movement and like that sort of thing. So the minute goes by super fast because you're really focused on getting deep into the movements. Um, that was a leg day. Um, so and I definitely feel my legs were shaking <laughs> throughout the whole thing. So I definitely recommend her um, and we'll see how the rest of the days go because um this particular challenger program is 50 days long she said so 10 weeks um and if you go to her youtube channel she has like the program and everything posted which i uh really like so yeah this is what i will be doing for the foreseeable future and then of course i have my faves like if i want to do a two a day situation which i think i'm going to have to do um once i build up my wind like once i get kind of back in shape because this holiday season this december just kicked my butt it really did i i just got word that the kids um do not have school again tomorrow they did convert to virtual school as you guys know before the break and um, I guess because a lot of the teachers were using, still using their classrooms to teach their classes and like the side roads are still a mess apparently. Um, with all the snow, they canceled school again. Um, so yeah. Probably can't tell, but cause I, I did touch it, but my, my hair is now like all fogged up in this shower cap. So it did what it was supposed to do, me working out with the shower cap on. Highly recommend it. It's like getting your hair, um, it's like getting your hair steamed or something. I'm about to go take a shower and get myself together. I think I'm gonna do a face mask because I have not done a, like a detoxifying face mask in a long time. And as you can see, based off of my dark spots on my face, I have been breaking out here and there. Um, I've been using my vitamin C serum and my retinol at night. 
um, every once in a while to try to combat them so they don't look so dark it's 2022 i am turning 30 this year so i am going to kick up my self-care into high gear enough sleep is really the main thing i don't get enough sleep i don't and um it's my own fault <laughs> um xavier i got xavier a five minute journal for christmas you guys saw that already and i also got myself one so i haven't started it yet i should have started it today like xavier started his today um but i did not and i don't want to like be fake and start start it um you know so i think what i'm gonna do is I am going to start it tomorrow, but tonight I'm going to read the first part. And the first part of the five minute journal is it's basically a breakdown of how the journal works and why it works and the things that you will um, be filling into the journal um, each day. And just so you know, like why you're doing what you're doing. I am super excited about my five minute journal about and I think this is like really going to be the key to um just this is really going to be the key to and I got my sister one too and she's already started hers and she's loving it so far she loves starting her day with gratitude and she's already like feeling the the changes um which is amazing so I'm so happy and I'm really glad that she liked her gift i think the five minute journal is going to be you know like i have other journals and i have other you know like things that you do daily but they kind of take more time to do and more thought um in my opinion and then the prompts are like really really long um so i think i'm going to switch over to this and um of course i will stick with my devotion that i do um in the evenings and I need to be more consistent with that also. But I think the five minute journal is just something that I can commit to each day that does not take a lot of my time. Um, so in the event that I don't have a lot of time, that's something that does not have to change. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower, put a face mask on. My apartment is a mess. You know, we had that glass situation and then that just made me wanna throw everything away. So I've, I've thrown away so many random items that I've just been holding on to. And that's just gonna be the theme for the rest of the month, getting rid of things and downsizing because yeah, read between the lines. Bring my camera because I went to go get my nails done at like 9 a.m. this morning. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get my nails done and I'm gonna go home. But then I was like, I really needed to get some things from Saks or from Fifth.
bed.